Hey, what's up, guys? It's Dark Laugh here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Emerald Randomized Nest Lock. And in the last episode, if you didn't see that, you should, have, should definitely look in the playlist down below, in the description down below, and find the playlist and check out this last episode. Because we had a time. We had a time in the last episode. And for all of you who did see that, if you look at the layout, it's basically a new set at the moment. But, um,. I thought about it for a while and I decided that we are going to go ahead and get the encounters that we still haven't gotten, which we have quite a few on these uh, water routes here. And we're just going to see what we could possibly get here and then we'll continue moving through the game after we figure that out. Because I want to be able to build the best possible team out of what I actually have. So that's pretty much what we're going to do today. Um, and I'm going to repeat this for anyone who hasn't been watching the last few episodes or has forgotten. Um, I'm not going to have a question today for these last uh, probably a couple episodes because um, I'm leaving it at what game should I play next because uh, I'm not really sure at the moment what I really want to do, and I want to know what you guys would like to see me do. Um, I'm mostly sticking to Pokemon games, and I'd like to play something that's a little more out there. Maybe like ROM hack, I don't know. I just kind of want to see what you guys suggest to me. So, uh, if you're interested in me playing a very certain game that you like, then comment down below and let me know. Um... Let me take a quick look here and see if I have a Pidgey or anything from that line. I do not. So, um, oh, well, it is a Pidgey. So, and I have a butt ton of Ultra Balls. Yep. And I was about to uh, use try attack, and that probably would have blown this little Pidgey away. Um, call this little Pidgey here Zia. Or. Sure, let's just call it Zia. Okay. Route 132. Route 132. I had a slacking, so this is species. So I guess I'm gonna fish. And honestly, this is an episode you guys could skip pretty easily because it's basically just gonna be encounters. And you could just check out the next episode. And you could see what the final product of today will be. But you never know, there could be something really crazy at the end of this hook. I mean, it's kind of crazy. Not like ultra crazy, but. I feel like it could take a try attack. Oh yeah. Honestly, a Swampert would not be the worst thing for me to get. Marsh Tomp. Um, can't really do too much else to it, so I guess we're throwing balls at it. Come on, come on. Does this Marsh Tomp even have an attacking move? It just keeps spamming Mud Sport. 
Mm, there we go. All right. So, um, I was playing some Pokemon Go with some friends yesterday, and I was reminded uh, how ridiculously hard it is to catch legendaries uh, in Pokemon Go. Because standard, like, throwing a Pokeball at them, you have, like, a 3% catch rate without anything added. And that's completely ridiculous. Like, it's even worse than playing in the games and trying to catch a legendary. Um, I know there's a spot here. Hmm. Kind of glad I didn't get that. I'm pretty sure on Route 133, there's only, like, a couple spots that you can actually... Uh, get an encounter. And you have to be pretty careful. Uh, but I was just reminded of that because um, one of the people I was with, uh, whenever Moltres was out in the game, had done eight Moltres raids and could not catch it for the life of him. And honestly, I still think it's hilarious that he couldn't catch eight of the same legendary. And I know there are more factors uh, that can uh, play into getting cert catching a Pokemon, like um... can I fish here? Um, there's factors like uh, the metal, the type metals, and there's your curveball, and there's uh, whether you get a great throw. But it's oh man, my bad. It's just kind of ridiculous how you can try so hard and so many times to get something and you just can't get it. That's kind of how I feel about this fishing right now. But uh, for anyone who didn't know, uh, Latios is currently out in Pokemon Go, and that's actually a really fun thing to face. Plus, if you need a good Dragon type, you got it right there. There we go. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Oh. There we go. That was like five. How many tugs is? Oh, it's an Altaria. Ah, oh, man. I have my Swamp Blue, though, so I really don't need it. Actually kind of made sense why it was so hard to pull up. You know, I'm going to old rod this right now. Mmm. I'm pretty sure I do not have an Arbok. Um, nope. Oh boy, here we go. Catching this Arbok. Don't get me wrong, Arbok could be helpful. It's just not one of the main things you think of when you're like, man, I really need a Mon that can help me like defeat the League. Arbok is not what you think of. And now that I'm saying this, I'm also realizing that I don't know why I should catch it, because I have plenty of things that are still good in the box. But I caught it anyways. So. We shall dub the... Uh... Vanda. Vanda. Okay, I think there's one more route this way that I can get an encounter. Can I just... Yeah, there we go. Hmm.
Oh. She spotted me. Oh no, she's got an elegant. I'm in trouble. He's gonna be super effective. You know, I'm really trying to think of a game that I'd really like to play. And uh, just recently I saw a game called uh, Phoenix Rising, which is a uh, ROM hack. I don't know of what, but just in general the name sounded interesting. And I might want to try that out. But uh, we'll see what happens. Like if I don't get any real feedback from you guys, then that's probably what you're going to end up seeing. Not gonna lie. Come on. Where are you at, legendary bird? Do I have a repel hub? Come on, I'm dodging around this swimmer. Uh, there we go. Mm. You know, I just realized I have, I've had two chances to catch a Groudon. I had once in Safari Zone and once as my legendary encounter. That's kind of crazy. Um... I do not have a Cubone or a Marowak. Cool. I got your name right here, Cubone. Um, Makoto. Hoping that we are starting to come to an end. I wasn't paying attention to the route of the chain. Okay, yes, so that was the last one that I can encounter on for water. I saw the mock bike. I really don't want to have it. Just so we know this isn't an encounter, um, I'm gonna work my way down and head towards Victory Road. And I think it might switch over to a new encounter there, but I don't remember. Oh, man. I had actually caught a part of the uh, QL9. I had caught a Marowak. Oh, well. Ooh. That wouldn't be bad. Um, I think it's up this way, but... My memory is getting really fuzzy of this game right, right towards the end. And I don't know why. I have played it through re recently, and I just can't remember these last few details. Um, I'm gonna make sure I'm going the right way. No, I turned too early. Did 
Did I just block myself out? Yep. Darn it. I know it's around here somewhere. It's getting kind of annoying. Um, I'm also trying to look what my encounter was for some of these places because I don't remember a lot of them. Okay, I think I'm heading the right way now. go. Okay, Evergrande sitting. Okay, I had a Vile Plume, so that's a no. Uh, Alright, let's keep going. We need Waterfall, which I do not have. I doubt anyone on my team can learn, except Dugong, and I really don't want to do that. Yep. Okay, then let me just go ahead and get this encounter. more interesting um let's see i'm fairly confident i don't have this okay i don't okay it's a little nine Don't play with my heartstrings. There's almost no point in attacking me either. Like, it'd be easier if we just kind of end this quickly, you get in the ball, and we just go. Come on. I think the only thing I could think to do to this is pull out my Flaffy and paralyze him. Unless Fwablu has Sing. Come on. Got three wiggles the first time. Such a waste of time right now. I mean, granted, I know I'm probably not going to use this because I already have Fat here and she has put in the work this entire time. We're just chilling here, waiting on this war turtle to get caught. Come on now. Let's let's stop wasting time here. I don't really care how many balls I use on this thing at this point because I think I have one possibly two more encounters right now I 
and doubtfully I will need more. There we go. You know, I really wish they would just given me the Master Ball in this game, like just a person gives it to me and not an item sitting on the ground. Because I feel like I would be done with the game already. Because I would have a level 70 Groudon with Fissure that would literally obliterate everything he looks at. But that's a perfect world, and not one where we live. Let me get good old Sharpedo out. I got you around here somewhere. I always put a Charizard on my team. That'd be interesting. Okay, let's make our way back to Evergrande. Hold on. Need to teach Sharpedo Waterfall. Grabbed the wrong Pokemon. I was thinking Sharpedo, and I just grabbed the most recent thing I had. Now I'm eating up this repel right now. I mean, I have a lot of uh, Watermon that I wouldn't mind just giving Waterfall to because I don't find them useful. Bill is super powerful. He's got waterfall and dive and rock smash. Man, I just gave him strength too. You know, really, a thing that I'd find pretty interesting is if we had a, an HM that was a dark type move and uh, it was kind of like flash, but rather than. Uh, Rather than making it brighter, he made it darker for a place with too much light. Which I feel like is a little bit of a cop out because it's just the exact opposite. But I still feel like be, you could fiddle with the concept a little bit and it would be fairly interesting. I mean, don't get me wrong, it could also be a huge flop and just bomb, but I feel like some people might like it. I mean, it's uh, kind of like, no, it's actually not. It's, I thought, I was going to say it was like uh, Raleigh's gym, but it's the exact opposite. Um, you could probably definitely do something in electric gym with something like that. Okay, I made it to this Pokemon Center, so it'll be easier. And I think right up here will be my last encounter of the game. Victory Road, okay. So let me just get this repel out of here. I kind of just killed that great music with another piece of great music, but different kind of great. Nope, not that. Uh, the bike music is like nostalgic and this theme is more powerful. Like that kind of powerful. Um, I feel like Septo can take a Thunderbolt at least. Yeah, there we 
we go. Oh, right, you have Leaf Blade. Hmm, that's at a little bit too much. I mean, I should be able to live another one. So if I can Leaf Blade, oh, use Agility. Hmm, I see you there. Okay, I can't risk another one. I might as well switch out at this point. Because I'm just asking to get critted. See, look, I still got like 50 Ultra Balls to catch a Sceptile. We'll be fine. Especially when it only takes one. Okay. Um. Let's call you... Nima. Or Nima? I think I spelled it wrong. Oh. Well. Okay. So, we're going to end it off here, guys. And uh, between episodes, I am going to grind up the team that we're, that we're going to be using for the league. So, the layout will definitely change. So, if you enjoyed this episode of me trying to recover a decent team, Please, I would enjoy a like and subscribe for all the effort that was put into this episode. And I will see you guys next time. And always remember, on Apple a day keeps the doctor away, so have a nectarine.